welcome once again to my channel this is no Ghana with Jeffrey on today's episode we are going to talk about five things that you need to you need to learn how to do before you visit Ghana if you're a first time visitor or perhaps you've been here before and you are planning to make your next trip to the beautiful country Ghana please don't forget to subscribe to our channel click on the notification button so whenever I release a video you get to uh, know and also share and comment or tell us what you want us to talk about welcome back as we mentioned earlier we're going to talk about five things that you need to learn how to do before you visit ghana else you'll find yourself in the hot waters. remember ghana is a very beautiful country with a very beautiful people and peaceful people we tolerate people a lot and we are very nice and kind people but if you fail to learn how to do these five things that i'm going to talk about today you may find yourself in hot waters. so let's zoom in The first thing that we talk about is saying please. The act of saying please is one of the things that can be uh, found in, in the day-to-day -day lifestyle of any Ghanaian. Saying please shows that you are respectful and that you respect the person whom you are talking with. Now, saying please can occur in a lot of instances, like you requesting for someone or you even greeting someone. So it's a, it's a lifestyle with Ghanaians. So a Ghanaian will meet you and instead of saying good morning, we will add please good morning to show that you, they respect you. So if you are coming to Ghana, it's one thing that you need to learn how to say a lot. If you fail to say please to a Ghanaian, especially when you need something from him or requesting something from him or even giving him something. So for example, if you, you take a cab or a taxi and you are giving the taxi driver the money, Instead of you to say your money, you can you have to say please your money. A Ghanaian will expect you to add please to it because that is their culture or that is our culture. If you fail to do that, anyone that you have an interaction with will see you to be very rude and disrespectful. So please learn how to say please before you come to Ghana. In your conversation, either to the early or the young, remember to say please whenever you are requesting for someone or you want them to do something for you or, or even when you are greeting them yes please learn how to say please the next thing that i will talk about when it comes to the things that you need to learn before you come to ghana is greeting it's greeting the act of greeting is a social norm in ghana anyone that you meet on the road Anyone that you go and or you meet whenever you visit a place, the first point of contact, you need to greet them. If you are the one meeting the person at that venue or that particular place, you need to greet the person. This is why you need to do this. Greeting is one of the social norms in Ghana. Any Ghanaian will see you, either they know you or they don't know you or they've met you before, or they have not met you before, they will greet you. It's, a, it's, it's something that anyone will do in ghana if you fail to do that they will see you as rude and also as someone who is very disrespectful okay so when you go to a place regardless of you meeting a young person or an older person you need to greet them this is because if you fail to greet the person when you go to a place for example if you enter into an apartment or an event venue and you see people and you fail to greet them and you go and you come back and you ask them for a help they will refer to you when you entered at the initial point that you failed to greet them and that is a disrespectful way so greetings helps you even create a bond on the first instance okay when you meet someone for the first time so the next thing that we talk about it is keeping cash on you anytime and always in ghana until recently we use the cash to cash payment system okay now there are other ways to transact business but the best way to do to be safe is to learn how to keep cash on you perhaps in your country or in your community you are used to the e-transfers and the paperless kind of transaction but in ghana even though we have the paperless kind of transaction going on most of the vendors and then places or event places mostly um 
use the cash payment system so if you are a foreigner or if you're a first-time visitor and you are coming to Ghana I would advise you to get some cash on you and it to save you time and it's to save you stress trust me next thing that we talk about is avoiding the use of your left hand in Ghana we don't really entertain certain things we don't take certain things for granted one is using your left hand to do a lot of things like talking to an elderly person with your left hand is seen as what a sign of disrespect a greeting someone with your left hand is it's it's seen as what a sign of disrespect actually anything about the left hand is seen as what a, 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 a tool of disrespect okay so i would advise you to learn how to uh, to not use your left hand especially when you are interacting with people or you are paying someone with cash or greeting someone or even eating i would advise you not to use your left hand or showing someone even a direction or those kind of things if you try to do that Ghanaians will see you as someone who is arrogant and very disrespectful but if you learn how to do this or if you learn not to use your left hand trust me you will enjoy your stay in Ghana and Ghanaians will love you that we talk about on today's episode or on this episode has to do with the respect or respect for the elderly in Ghanaian community on Ghanaian setting the elderly which is anyone older than you is assumed or is seen to be someone whom the younger one is supposed to respect regardless okay so for example if you're having an argument with that elderly it is um believe that the whatever the elderly say must be the, the the final say okay it's not like they don't we don't really allow the young ones to express themselves but if you try to challenge an elderly person they will see you to be very rude and disrespectful okay so what you have to do is entertain tolerate the elderly greet them help them when they need help sometimes you don't really have to allow them to call on you before you help them when you see that the person needs the help you go and then you help the person the early in ghana uh, the early one in ghana is someone uh, older than you remember and so when you meet them you have to greet them you need to help them uh, you need to assist them that is if you can or if it's appropriate okay and also um yeah don't forget the greeting is very necessary because if you meet an elderly person you forget to greet the person you find yourself in some hot waters trust me so remember saying please is one of the things that you need to learn before you come to ghana um greeting both the young is very important and then also um elderly respect for the elderly keeping cash on you and finally avoiding using your left hand are some of the things that you need to learn how to do before you come to ghana don't forget to subscribe to this channel please share the good news with someone so share comment and click on the notification button so whenever i release a video you'll get to know that we release this one please be safe out there and be good. Love you. See you next time.